Jeff and I have been talking right now with the now two-time state champion down here at the uh, track meet, the state track meet in Des Moines uh, in 2017. Miles Rupiper from Kemper just winning the boys high jump here today. Miles, uh, you had to sit and wait a while. You normally do that. Yeah. But, uh, and it's not like you haven't had cold track meets probably all year, but how did you keep yourself focused mentally and also physically uh, while everybody else was jumping at 5, 10, and 6? Because you didn't go till 6, 2. Yeah, I, it took a while. So every every once in a while when I noticed myself, I was yawning a little bit. I just got up and went for a little jog, re-stretch a little bit, stay loose. And, uh, you know, I, I was a bit tired uh, just sitting there but and waiting for everybody. But I, I just stayed focused and... Uh, I'm not, I'm not really, I don't let, let weather get to me. I actually jumped one of my best marks on the season. I jumped 6'9 early in the season with in like 40 degree weather. So weather doesn't affect me that much, but I wasn't feeling my absolute best today. So No, no matter what were you starting at 6'2, no matter yeah, how the rest yeah. of the field was doing? Yeah, I, I don't really let others, I just do my own thing really. What What is it about 6'2 that you felt like that was a good height for you? Uh, Just not waste jumps, I mean, I, I didn't even know that nobody else was skipping, and I thought people would skip. I usually come in at six foot, and I just thought might as well just go for six two right away. Well, I tell you what, six two and six four, you may look really easy today. How, how did you feel on those two? They they felt all right. Uh, I'm hoping to prevent my shin splints next season and not let shin splints be a factor on my season. But uh, yeah, like my knee, like shins, all that stuff, it's connected, and my knees kind of hurt. So uh, it. I'm not feeling that bad, I guess. You got to 6'6". Six, six. Yep. Uh, you were, the, I think, the third or last kid to go on that. Everybody else missed. You stepped up. You cleared it. You bumped it. I, but you, you, I understand you've trained yourself a way to bump it and still get over with it cleared. Yep. Uh, I jump more up rather than out at the bar. Like, I'm, I get more in the air. So I got it. It'll bounce on the bar if you're hitting it while going up, not if you're hitting it uh vertically or horizontally so did you feel pretty comfortable at six, after getting six six and watching the other guys get it like yeah, the over well there point? was there was one kid that was very close and it bounced a couple times and it fell off so uh i still felt comfortable that i had a pretty solid lead that if if i wouldn't have cleared the next time i don't think the other kid would have either and i would have won off misses so i felt pretty comfortable there and uh I just went, I was feeling, I wasn't feeling the best, and just like at districts, I went from 6'6 to 6'10, so I'm like, might as well go from 6'6 to 7 foot, see how, see how it goes, and I got a couple good jumps at it, but uh, not quite there yet, just got to work at it. What was the conversation with the coaches and your fans across the way before you came over and took uh, the jumps at 7? We discussed what, what height I should go to, the coaches just left it up to me to decide, they they know I, or they're confident in me making good decisions. So, uh, yeah. Miles, what, which one did you feel like was your best jump at seven? Uh, I got. Are they I got a blur over right now. I got. What was that? Are they a blur right now? Kind of. What was that? Are, are those three jumps still kind of a blur to you? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Going up there, I was shaking quite a bit, but uh, you know, probably second and third jump. My third jump, I got good height didn't get any flip what I needed so I landed on the bar but my second jump was probably my best I was I scraped it but what's it feel like right now and I know it hasn't sunk in at all but what's it feel mm -hmm. like to be a two-time state champion down here first two days of the state track meet it feels good and hopefully can go tonight and get make it to the finals and do our best for the four by one but uh it feels amazing it's truly just an honor to be a state champ and uh can hopefully live up to that next year Congratulations, Miles, and I uh, look forward to watching your run tonight. What an honor to win two of them. We appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jeff.